thanks for checking in again. Um, I have a quick little uh, video for you that's going to be really helpful if you make websites for clients. Um, I will show you how you can make um, team templates or page templates or post templates by using one of the Jet Engine or Crocoblock plugins. You can do the same thing uh, also with Cadence Elements. They have both a bit the same functionality, but it's a bit a different way of working. Uh, but in this video, I will be working with uh, Crocoblock mainly. Let me show you. So the one we need is the Jet Team Core, it's called. So that's a paying plugin from Crocoblock. You can have, like, uh, if you have a full license, it will be included, like I have. I have 15 more that I can install with my license. But with most of their plugins, you can um, buy them individually as well. So you can probably get this one uh, individually. You should check it out. I'll put a link in the description below where you can go to the site of uh, Crocodoc to check it out. Um, and then you will have the option of the team builder. It will also be here on the left side. Team builder is also here. And if we click on this, we can create uh, page templates. Let me first show you my site. Well, it's not really a site. I just have three pages, the same three as in my last video. Uh, so check my last video out if you want to see how I came to this. So I have my page with a title, a text under the title. So, so these are all uh, custom fields that I've made. Um, and in the last video, we set up a custom backend dashboard for our clients. So they only have access to these fields and they can't accidentally mess up the layout of the page uh, itself. Yeah. So the thing we're going to do now is create a template where the we don't have to do anything inside of the page itself we're going to make a template uh, with the team builder and then inside of the, this template we're going to make the layout for our home page and these fields will be imported inside of this template yeah so let's make a new one we have to set a condition so we want to include a single page for example and we're going to pick our home page so you can uh, play around with this you have different options you can uh, have and why this is more powerful than um, making your layout just inside of the page that itself is because if you want to you can just change the conditions if you say mm, I also would like my this page to have the same template is just like this and both pages will instantly be the same layout the same stuff without having to do anything else so it's a really fast way to change a complete site without having to do um, special stuff so that's why i like this the most yeah? uh, otherwise you had to go to pages you have a sort of layout here in my home page and then if i want to i have to copy everything from here go back out go to my about us page paste everything here so that's just a lot more work and and uh, this allows us to create templates um, that are easily imported into other uh, pages or removed and uh, so forth. So we're going to create only the body. You will see that the header and the footer, if I open up my site again, you see we have already a header, just the default cadence team installed. And this is the header that I've set up now. And this header, this homepage doesn't display anything now, but we're going to set it up and we're going to keep the header and the footer that's already there. So you can do a, a custom header and footer, but we're only going to do the body create template the block editor if you have uh, elementor it will probably pop up as well but i'm not going to use this page template create and now we have to go to the editor and here we're going to make a template let's start by inserting a row layout so this is a cadence block that i'm going to use inside of a Crocoblock, uh, Crocoblock plugin, let's say. So this works fine, you don't have to worry about that. Structure, I'm gonna put a min height of 100. This means 100, not 200. That it will span across the whole height of the screen, standardly. And then we put a background image. So you will see, it will immediately span across the width or the height of the screen if I don't set this you will see that it's not going to, if I put 10 for example, or the default setting, it will look like this and it will only be become bigger if there is content inside, but I want it to be always a 100 view H even with little or no content. Let's set some padding. I'm going to use percentages maybe. And here 25% is fine for me. 
And now we're going to add a, a jet engine field, so a dynamic field. This is a field that's, that comes with the CrocoBlock plugins. We're going to select metadata because I've already set this up. So I showed you in a couple of minutes ago. So if you want to know how, you can check out my other video. And I'm going to pick the title field. And I want this to be a, an H2, for example. And then for the layout itself, we can go to the Jet Style plugin. This is a free plugin where you can set some basic settings like the font size, the weight, and the colors and stuff. Um, and we're going to make this an uppercase. And I want this to be in the center of the page. Let's click on Update and go back to my home page. And you see it's already looking like I've put it here in the template. So you see it's immediately imported the template inside of my home page and I've selected another page as well, I think. Yeah, the About Us page has the same uh, same layout as the home page. The only difference is you don't see a title here. That's because if I go to my pages and the About Us page, you will see I'll have to update my uh, meta field probably. before now it comes up. Yeah. So, and this is the thing, I can put something different here. And it will take this meta field for my about us page, something different, you see it immediately pops up. So the client can change this, for example, but in the home page, it still sticks with it. This is a title. I'm not happy with the positioning, so I have to pick this one to center probably. Let's refresh. Yeah, now it's in the center of the page. Looks a little bit weird, so we're going to... This is the power of the cadence blocks. You can, layout-wise, you can do some awesome things with almost no work. We create a little overlay. We can make it a little bit darker even. Click on Update again, and then Refresh. And now the, the text is coming up a bit nicer. Yeah. The only th an annoying thing is that you don't see it here because yeah, for whatever reason it doesn't really load the value uh, immediately. But if you refresh it in the live page, you will see that it pops up. So you have to check it uh, in, an, uh, in a different tab. Let's maybe make this a bit bigger, 30. And I also want it to be bold like this. Voila. Let's add something after, another dynamic field. There are, these dynamic things are from Cadence, but there is no official integration between Cadence and Jet Engine. It works for text, I I'll, I'll, I'll can show you with the advanced text block, it will probably work, but it's not really officially integrated yet. Let me pick a paragraph. And you have the, if you have the Pro, Cadence Blocks Pro, you have the option to put in dynamic content. Post custom fields, now we have to look if it shows up or not, because this is already, no, it's not working, you see. But if I put in, let me put in title again. This is the same one that I've put in here with the dynamic field. And then add it, update it. Let's maybe make the color white again. And I will see if it actually, because now you see it says no content, but it's the same thing. If you refresh, you see this is a title. So you see, this is the jet engine, the croco block block this one the dynamic field but you see even with a cadence block if you have cadence blocks pro you can import text from a jet engine meta field even though it's not really officially integrated yet it still works but it doesn't work with images and stuff so if you want to be sure stick with the fields of the the croco block suite but you can use um, cadence and i like it more with cadence because you have other styling options inside of here and you don't need to use the different plugin for styling and you have more options for styling as well so i like it a little bit more let me see if it works with uh, this one text under title let's see for my dynamic content let's paste this one and update my content update the page and you see it works fine so with text you can use cadence I like it more with Cadence even, but you can choose whatever you want. And now we can set the some options again. Let me go back to my row layout. Let me set a custom width of 750, for example. And then update this. Let's refresh. And you see it immediately works. So this is a really awesome way to set up templates. Um, and the awesome thing is this about this page is also having the same layout. So I set it once, I can apply this to whatever page I want and it will automatically look the same way. Import the 
right fields at the same time so you see this is also different and this is different from my home page uh, okay. so if you like this uh, watch my last video you will see how you can set up a custom backend for your client and then if you combine it with this video you will have awesome, will have awesome tools to set up a really uh, customized website for your clients all right thanks for watching hope this was helpful